Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Yo-Yo playthrough. Once again, we are starting off with the Traveling Merchant arriving. If this guy doesn't have a yo-yo this time, then I don't... Oh my lord, are you for real right now, dude? This is ridiculous, come on! I mean, I'm only after like one of two yo-yos, I mean, come on, man. I mean, what is it, the Code 1 and Code 2, those are the only two yo-yos you can buy from this dude and we haven't had a single one of them yet. Ah, oh, man, what a start to an episode. What a start indeed. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode of my Yo-Yo playthrough, whereby today we are going to be starting off by making some more NPC houses. That is right, we need to go ahead and get on with doing that because we don't really have enough for everybody to live in. So, uh, yeah, we need to go ahead and do ourselves a little bit of a favor because the guide is not here. And, uh, well, in this particular instance, that is really not a good thing because I would love the guide to be here because I need to kill him. Basically, I I want to make myself the uh, oh, what's it called? What the devil do they call it? I want to make the uh, the fire gauntlet. As you can see, I've got the power glove, I've got the magma stone. The only thing that we're missing, I do believe, is the uh, is the what's it called? Ah, uh, the something emblem, Avenger emblem, whatever it's called, something like that. Something I'll even know, man. My memory is not on fleek today, my friend. So far, uh, hey, hey, buddy. Uh, Shirlina, you're gonna need to move there, bud. I need to, I need to build some more houses, man. I'm trying to build some more houses so you can have some freaking, so you can have some buds, you know? I mean, I don't want to, like, not provide you guys with houses, so, you know, it'd be nice if you could move and everything would be good to go. But, uh, anyways, aside from going ahead and building this house, we are also going to be going ahead and taking down the destroyer three more times, because believe it or not, we have got one... That's right, one hallowed bar under the amount we need to make a full set of armor, which really does kind of suck. In fact, let me just check in here real quick. Do we already, are we already like got some? No, we don't. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need to go ahead and take down the destroyer at least one more time. But I'm doing it three times because, of course, hallowed bars are also used in the creation of the, uh, in the, what's it called? The pumpkin moon summoner. So, you know, pumpkin moon medallion, you need ten of those. So, yeah, should all be good to go, my friends. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this house looks once it's done. We're using a combination of, uh, of granite block, regular granite blocks for the frame of the house. And then we've got some marble blocks here so we can get some cool backgrounds going. Skyware chest because the blue... And, uh, yeah, we could probably change this into something else and, uh, move on from there. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to this, my friends. Hopefully you guys are too. Let's go ahead and get some, uh, platforms in here real quick. Uh, although, to be honest, I think maybe marble platforms would actually do a better job. Hmm. Well, as a result of that, what we should do is head over here. Uh, oh, wow, okay, the traveling merchant has just sat down. <laughs> it's commandeered someone's seat. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab some of these things real quick. All right, and then we are looking for some platforms. Platforms? Uh, there we go. Marble platform. Fantastic. That's all we need. All right, boom. One, two, and get over here. And one, two. All right, looking good. So let's go ahead and continue on with this thing. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And uh, three, four, five, six. Wait, what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're trying to make them like equal. So it's going to be there. Yeah, that's plenty of space for a freaking NPC. Holy crap, that's a lot of space indeed, in fact. In fact, you know what? I don't think it's going to look proportionally correct if we uh, <laughs> if we put down the roof already. So we're actually going to make this slightly taller. Who knows? We might be able to squeeze in three NPC houses on this second row. I don't know. I feel like it might be large enough to the point where we'll be able to do that. But, uh, you know, we'll have a look and see how it goes. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue on making the frame of this house. And I'll bring you guys back with progress updates as we make progress. <gasps> Check it out, a gold bunny. Hey man, I can actually pick you up as well. Sweet! That is awesome! Alrighty guys, I'm just in the process of putting in the finishing touches here. Oh my god, it's a bit of a dark house, isn't it? I, I'm kind of liking the backgrounds though with the combination of regular granite background walls and the, and the marble walls. I feel like that's kind of nice. So, Here's the deal with this bottom room. I decided against having this bottom room be an NPC house just because, you know, the uh, the Eternia crystal thing right there is there. So, uh, yeah, what I decided to do instead is make this bottom room into a weapon rack area. And I've just realized I'm going to need to make this room slightly taller in order for this to work. So if I just go ahead and uh, do a little bit of this. There's a gold squirrel around somewhere. Gold squirrel? Where you at, buddy? You over here? Oh, no, it's gone, it's gone. Oh, no, it's over this way somewhere. Oh, gold squirrel. Oh, hello there, buddy. 
second gold critter in today's episode. Holy crap, that's amazing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and favorite them so we don't like wind up accidentally getting rid of them. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, so yeah, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to make this bottom room into like a weapon rack area where we can go ahead and store all of our yo-yos in a sort of display case kind of deal, I guess. You know, just to make it look nice, you know. A lot of you guys have been saying we need to do that and, well, you're quite right. So... Yeah, 17 yo-yos is the amount we're going to be trying to get, but as I've mentioned before, if we don't manage to get the two yo-yos, the Code 1 and Code 2, from the Travelling Merchant by the time we end the series, then, uh, you know, we'll just have to leave them out. But anyways, guys, what I need to do now is I need to quickly figure out the numbers for this and make sure we can get all of these things in here. So yeah, let's just go ahead and quickly do this. So here we go. Uh, four, five, six, ooh, seven. Oh, we're only going to get 14 yo-yos in here. Crap. Unless I do something real quick, maybe a couple quick house adjustments. Hmm, yeah, okay. Right, let me just work on this real quick and I'll be back in just a sec. Hey, there we go. The NPCs are now starting to move in, which is super awesome. I'm really, really happy with that. It means all of our NPC houses are indeed valid. And yeah, like I said, very, very happy about that. So... Yeah, alrighty, so now that we've got all of these item frames placed down, we can actually go ahead and start placing in some yo-yo. So let's go ahead and uh, get our piggy bank out real quick, and let's grab, oh, hang on, I broke something! I done broke some, oh, there we go, nope, I fixed it, I'm a, I'm a genius, right, here we go. Let's grab all of these bad boys out, and let's go ahead and place them all inside of the item frame, so here we go, let's go ahead and uh, chuck you in there, we've got the rally next, we've got the artery next, and then we have the valor, if I know we don't, we've got the, uh, oh, crap, nope, whoops, <laughs> I don't even know, man, we've got the Amazon next, wait, what? Hang on a minute, something's going wrong here. Something's going wrong. Hold on. Which one does more damage? I'm doing it in... in... Oh, okay. So the Valor would probably do more damage because it's got no modifier on it. All right. So moving on. We've got the Format C, the Cascade, the Gradient, then the Cheek. And then moving on, we have ourselves the Hellfire, we have ourselves the Amarok, and then obviously the Yellets would be the next thing to go in, but obviously, you know, we're still using it currently, so we're not going to go ahead and uh, do anything with it. So, yeah. Alrighty, so there's the gal. Let's place you in there. And, uh, yeah, there we go, my friends. We have ourselves a grand total of six new NPC houses. Six new NPC houses, which is super awesome. And I've got to say, this house is actually looking pretty damn good. Like, really, it's... I, I'm kind of liking it. I really am. I think the only thing that would spruce up a little bit more is maybe some flower pots do we have any clay like a whole load of clay or anything like that uh, it doesn't look like it does it i don't see any clay anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and say that there isn't any and uh yeah i think the time my friends has come to move on i guess so we need to head down to hell we've got to wait for the guy to spawn in and then we can hopefully have a chance of getting ourselves an emblem so we can make an avenger emblem and this we can get ourselves the fire gauntlets so yeah let's go ahead head down to hell wait for the guy to spawn in and we'll take down the wall of flesh all right, so here we go. The Yalitz with 100 damage on the dot. We'll probably take this guy out in a matter of seconds. And, well, as you can see, it clearly is. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, what was I to expect, really? I mean, come on, dude. Come on. It's just a cakewalk, man. All right. Oh, there is an emblem. Wow. Okay. I don't even need to farm out more than one wall of flesh. That's actually really, really cool. All right. And we got a mask from it. That's actually kind of freaking sweet. Huh. All right, well, yeah, that was uh, unexpectedly a short amount of time to farm. All right, uh, and uh, I've just realized as well as doing all of that stuff, I need to go ahead and uh, make myself the pickaxe axe as well, huh? All right, let's grab all of the souls out that we have. So uh, souls of sight, souls of might, and then we'll head up here real quick. Let's get ourselves the good old-fashioned pickaxe axe. There it is. It is murderous. Oh, it's got more speed on it from the, from the rip. That's kind of awesome, dudes. I'm going to keep that and not complain about that that's pretty damn sweet all right so here we go let's go and sell the uh, orichalcum pickaxe we just don't need it and then uh, we're going to head over to the tinkerer table real quick and uh, we're going to make ourselves the new emblem so avenger emblem bada bing bada boom there it is and now we can make a mechanical glove and now we can make the fire gauntlets fantastic folks that is really quite brilliant actually i'm really happy with that hmm Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do next. It's not really something I actually had, you know, scheduled into this episode, but we are actually going to go ahead and take down the pirate invasion in an attempt to try and get ourselves a discount card. If we manage to get one, awesome. If not, then, you know, there's not really anything too much we could do about it. Uh, where did I... I'm pretty damn sure I had a pirate map somewhere. Uh, oh, there, there, there. Hey, buddy, let's go ahead and use you. And yeah, we've got the, we got the yellets. I mean, come on, man. We, we had to take, him, take all of those guys down with absolute ease, right? Should be easy as pie. 
Alright, so, let me go ahead and get this thing done, and if we manage to get something cool, then I will, of course, bring you guys back. And here they come! Alright, man, time to get ourselves a discount card, hopefully. Uh, that's a roof- oh, wait. Oh, it's a legendary cutlass! Wow! I thought it said roofless for a minute, I don't know why. Apparently my brain in the morning is just like, I don't even know, man, I'm just gonna say what's on my mind and not actually read what's on screen. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Another cutlass from another freaking captain. Okay, so that's two out of two. Holy crap, there it is! Yeah, boys! Holy poop, that's amazing. Alright, so are we gonna get a drop from this captain? Are we gonna make it three out of three captains? Hmm, is it gonna be a thing? Ah, uh, no, the first captain that didn't give us something. Dang it! Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's keep going. Oh, right. Um, so that happened. Good job, Python. You're really good at pirate invasions, huh? And more to the point, looking after your health. You dingus. Oh, God. All right, well, this is going to get a bit annoying, huh? I don't even think I'll be able to get back to my stuff. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, the giant's OP. Look at all the look at all the damage over time she's doing to people. That's incredible. I wonder if she'll be able to take down a freaking captain. That'd be incredible. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I'm rooting for the NPCs right now, folks. I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him. Come on, dudes. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh, a cutlass. Hey, we got a weapon. <laughs> Completely random, but hey, man. That's freaking sweet. Oh, no, don't kill all my dudes. Don't do that. That's just rude, man. Oh, and there we have it, folks. The pirates have been taken down. And, and I died again. Oh, man. We got caught on a really vicious death loop there. Like, like seriously vicious. Like, I've been sat here for like 20 minutes just dying over and over trying to get my stuff back. Oh, <laughs> uh, words of the wise. Don't play medium core. J just saying. Just saying. If you fancy a challenge, then do it. But if not, then for God's sake, don't do it. <laughs> Spare yourself, man. Spare yourself. All right. Here we go. Now we can actually get back. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, 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 I even resorted to using spiky balls at one point because I just had no choice. Oh! Get off me, bro. Alright, now then. We can actually get our stuff back and everything's going to be good to go. So the good news is we actually did manage to get the main article itself. We managed to get a discount card, which I'm super happy about. But in the meantime, we, we, we got all of this stuff. I mean, just look at it. There's so much stuff. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, what else have we got? Loads of stuff. Way too much stuff. Holy crap, dudes. Oh, alright, you can go away. You can go away. Uh, you can go away. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait, what? What are you doing here, you freaking idiot? Come on, man. What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. What I was trying to do is get rid of that. There we go. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, and yeah, now we just need to basically get ourselves back up to scratch. So, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, organize myself real quick. Get myself back up to scratch, as I was saying. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a sec. Alrighty, guys, just got all my stuff back. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and get on with the destroyer real quick. Here we go. Hey, buddy. I am going to destroy the destroyer because, you know, that makes a whole lot of sense and stuff. Alright, here we go. So, uh, yeah, I've actually gone ahead and put on my fire gauntlets now. And as you can see, flame damage galore, my friends. Flame damage galore. It's amazing. But, uh, yeah, this should be a pretty easy, pretty simple fight. Oh, what the? Hey, why is there a freaking wyvern around here, dude? Dude, there's no way this place is high enough for the to the point where this guy should be spawning in. What the heck is that? <laughs> I don't even know, man. Alright, hey, all the hearts. All the hearts. Love all the hearts. Thank Thank you very much. Alright. Oh, we gotta keep killing all these probes though. Alright. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Keep 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 it going with the probes and the hearts and stuff. That would be amazing. Okay, where's he coming from? He's down there. Alright, fair enough. He is below half health at this point, which is fine. Let's keep going with the hearts again though. Yeah, the more hearts we can get, the better. Alright, come on, man. 28,000 health. We should be able to do this with, like, absolute ease. I mean, for God's sake, we took him down with a freaking ammo rock before, right? Was it the ammo rock or was it the hellfire? I can't even remember, to be honest with you guys. But whatever the case may be, here we go. Yeah, man, this is going to be simple as hell. Come on. We've got, like, eight seconds until we can properly regen health with the potion. But uh, I don't think we're going to need that because, ladies and gentlemen, the destroyer, once again, is out of the game. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, I'm happy with that. Sweet! Oh, we got a destroyer trophy as well. That's kind of amazing. And there's some souls of flight as well. <laughs> awesome. All right, how many do we have now? 59, which is indeed enough to make ourselves the full set of hallowed armor. I'm really happy with that. So here we go. Uh, I actually compared the stats between the two sets. And uh, this does very slightly more damage. So here we go. Hallowed Greaves. 
Allied plate mail, and of course, the uh, the melee mask. So there we go. I don't believe there's any difference in defense, though. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, there is actually. It's 54. Okay. So we're going from 107 damage with the yellets there to 108 damage. Wow! One damage increase, man. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, boom, you can go on, and yeah, I, I still need to organize my inventory and, and stuff, so that's that's great. Uh, right, uh, wait, where did that thing go? Uh, oh, it is there, okay, discount card, fantastic. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget about that. We've got ourselves a trophy to put down, so we might as well put that in uh, one of these here new houses. Let's put you right there, fantastic. And uh, yeah, let's just organize our inventory. And the third gold critter for this episode, a gold bird? Holy crap. Dude, how much splimmin' uh, critters are we gonna wind up getting? That's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, no complaints, though. Check it out. Two platinum coins, 57 gold. That is kind of nice. Alright, so, what are we wanting to do next? <clears throat> oh, man, excuse me. I'm rather thinking that... I'm rather thinking I'd like to go to the jungle to try and get some more life roots. I think that'd be a cool idea before trying to attempt Plantera. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh. We have a bit of a problem though. We have we don't have any glass bottles or, or water bottles or anything like that. So we're gonna have to head over this way real quick. Oh my god, my voice is going, dude. Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> I need to get some more bottles and then we can make some more potions. Uh, well, not more. Well, yeah, more. Ha! Ah! Oh, what the hell, dude? Really? You're gonna have to. You're gonna chuck this on me right now? Ah, oh, god, freaking damn it! What are you doing? Get out of here, you freaking jerk! Ah, uh, alright, well, let's keep, let's continue on, my friends. In fact, change of plan, I think we'll leave Plantera and the jungle for the next episode, but for the remainder of this one, what I thought we could do is try out the Tier 2 uh, Old One Army Invasion, so I'm going to need to move this thing real quick. Can I, like, put it here and it'll work? Uh, no. Okay, can we move it, like, over here? Is that going to work? It should do, right? Alright, boom. Ah, there we go. Hey, alright, so we are indeed going to be utilizing the flame burst rod. So there we go, let's put you right there. And aside from that, we're pretty much going to be using the normal stuff. So here we go, tier 2. I think I've completed tier 2 once before. Although I could be wrong, of course. I hope I'm not, obviously. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, we're going to pretty much focus on the left-hand side because the right-hand side, we've got a little bit more in the way of attack slash defense. So there we go. These guys are just getting absolutely destroyed right now. All right, so we need uh, 10 of these little mana crystals in order to get ourselves another sentry going. So let me just go ahead and uh, show these guys the lore real quick. There we go. We've got 13 of the buggers now. So now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come where we will be able to go ahead and place down another one. We're going to put on its portal. So there we go. And let's place you right there. And wave one should be done like momentarily, I guess. Okay, let's get back over here. Oh, 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 he almost got a hit on it on round one. Holy crap, that would have been bad, wouldn't it? That would have been embarrassing, in fact. Huh. Okay, so we need to move over to this side real quick. Let's get ourselves the... Uh, oh, wait, hang on a minute. We're going to need to make a choice here. Hmm. We don't actually have... <laughs> we don't have lightning boots, and I kind of would like to have that. I don't know, man. We could maybe replace that? Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Let's put you right there. And uh, yeah, we got wave two incoming. So let's see how we do. Alrighty, there we go. Wave two has just been completed. Oh, oh a bit of an army of cobalt coming in. Ooh, that was close. Okay, come on, man. Right, but I need to get rid of this blooming sand block. It's actually it's legit in the way. Okay. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, the sand block is where? Tell me. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's right. We've got the creative shock thing. Dang it, man. We can't. Okay, we're going to need to get over here real quick. Come on, come on, come on. All right. And let's get another one of these sentries down real quick. There we go. All right. It's rather unfortunate that we've got a sandstorm going on because my uh, my ability to move around is a bit impeded, isn't it? So, yeah, kind of sucks. But, you know, you can't have everything in the world, huh? All right. So, the left-hand side has got, you know, more damage. So, I think we're going to focus on the right-hand side where there's flying dudes trying to take down my stuff real quick. Oh, can't have that now, can we? Oh, that is cobbled. Come on, dudes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Doing well on wave three. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Like I said, that little that little soul sand block is kind of in the way. It, it, it disrupts my yo-yo flow. It's kind of annoying. Yo-yo flow. Did I really just say that? Well, uh, apparently I'm like trending new things. The yo-yo flow. <laughs> Uh, don't even know, man. Don't even know. What is this commentary? I'll tell you what. <laughs> to spare you guys the commentary, I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue on. We just completed wave three. 
really, really nicely. Hey, no, you don't. All right, let's keep going, though, folks. Oh, my God, it's the dinosaur Draken dudes. <laughs> Draken. Isn't there a gun on Black Ops 3 called the Dracon? It's, it's Dracon, Draken. Yeah, very mild difference. Uh, oh, hey. Hey, 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 I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but uh, I'm just going to go and say you're going to stop. Hey, whoa, that guy's freaking surging around. Hey, all right. Oh, they're starting to do some damage now, folks. All right, we're going to need to be careful of this. Oh, they're starting to get into the left-hand side as well. Oh, God, okay, this is going to start getting very, very difficult now. Come on, man, come on, come on, come on. All right, come on. Yeah, yeah, you're not doing enough damage there, bro. You're not doing enough damage. You're not doing enough damage. This is tier two. I've got a freaking... What the hell, dude? I've got a weapon that does over 100 damage, and it still isn't enough. No. I'm going to have to escape, man. I can't do this. I can't. I'm going to die 100%. I will die. Oh, God freaking damn it. Well, that's a shame. We, we, got, us, we got pretty far, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. But, uh, you know what? It was it was fun. It was fun. It was honestly fun. I had fun doing that one. And we did, you know, we did reasonably well, all things considered. You know, I'm not too not too heartbroken about it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, next episode, we're going to focus down on the underground jungle. Getting ourselves some more health. Getting ourselves Plantera defeated. And who knows, maybe even after that, we could take down Gollum. I normally wind up doing those two in the same episode because Gollum, in my opinion, is much easier than Plantera. So, yeah, my friends, I'm going to end it right there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and you're excited to see more, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. Be super appreciated, of course. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos are out. Thank you very much indeed for the support you've been showing with this series. Super appreciated as always my friends. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.